Hello this is PCBi.com thanks for watching this video. What is Manhattan effect of PCB? In the reflow soldering of SMT, the components will desoldering because of warp. This is Manhattan effect. We call it tombstone. Manhattan effect usually appears in the reflow soldering process of chip components such as capacitor and resistor. The smaller the component, the more likely it is to occur. And the reason is when the solder paste on the solder pads at both ends of the component is melted in reflux, the surface tension of the two soldered ends of the component is unbalanced. How to avoid Manhattan effect? Here are some tips. 1. Size of pads. Pads should not be too large or too small or unbalanced on both sides. Refer to the instructions in the data sheet. 2. Different trace with the pads both sides. 4. Small components. It is easier to form tombstone, such as 0402 or 0201, so we should make sure both sides of trace are the same width and direction. 3. Check the coverage rate of PCB in a layer. Tombstone takes place not only at the top and bottom. If there is a large piece of copper foil in the inner layer, connected to a solder pad of the component, and there is no pad or it is very small, it will lead to uneven heating during soldering. So try to make sure the copper foil containing two pads. Thanks for watching. See you next time.